Good day, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news. From Buckingham Palace. Buckingham, Buckingham Palace has just released a statement. Britain's King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. Hi, I'm Paul Barry. And sad news, the King has cancer. So, what do we know? All cancer, you know, is serious. You know, people have a very negative feeling about cancer. Uh, it is still a word, isn't it? It's still the C word. But don't worry, King Charles is very much alive and on the move. With Queen Camilla by his side, he looked stoic, he was smiling. That's the British spirit. And what do we know about his illness? Cue the experts. This was a cancer. They don't say what kind of cancer it was or where it was found. Should we be asking how... that question? What is it? What well, kind of cancer? You... Hell yeah, why not? But hang on. What's that, Dickie? It is very silly and irresponsible to start speculating as to what it is. A royal commentator not wanting to speculate. <laughs> Come on, even Piers wasn't buying that. We've been asked not to speculate about what it is, but it's impossible, really, given that we know the king has cancer, not to at least theorise what the range of cancers it could be. And with more than 200 cancers to choose from, with the palace ruling out only prostate cancer, what was their best guess? So I'm suspicious that this is bladder cancer. Keeping in mind that... And as you say, they ask us not to speculate. As one by one, they did. The most likely site is the bladder. In the neighborhood is the bladder. The bladder would be the next prevalent type of cancer. But there is some good news. Because he went home. Because they're treating him as an outpatient. So there you go. King Charles has bladder cancer, but they caught it early and he's being treated at home. Or not. As one of the King's former publicists told Good Morning Britain... The trouble is, the more information you give, the more people speculate. And where would wall-to-wall -wall royal coverage be without that?